New towel. Where the hell are my blades? So this vehicle got a thorough cleaning yesterday. Uh, I, I hit it with my pressure washer and let it air dry and the whole nine. Um, so I have the uh, front lights, little lights here. The mirrors and the full hood is already done. So I still have to do the front bumper, which is gonna take a couple hours, and then the fenders. Um, so I'm just gonna do a fender for today for you because I don't think you wanna sit for two hours on a, uh, a bumper install. But well, maybe I'll do a time lapse on it. Coffee time. I don't do much PPF, so I figured it'd be a great, good time to shoot a video. Unfortunately, we don't have a air conditioned or temperature controlled uh, room. This is an industrial building, so it's very it's open with a with a giant door open here. So it gets very hot during the summer and it gets cold during the winter. And with paint protection film, you need to be between probably I'd say probably 60 degrees and 90 to 95 degrees um, any colder than that and it is it makes the, the the material really rigid and hard to work with and any hotter than 90 95 degrees and it makes the uh, the material too pliable um, so that's why I don't do much paint protection film because that it has to the temperature has to be just right in this room for me to be able to do PPF. And I like taking my time with PPF, so it's like, um, I, usually, I usually ask for two days drop off. So like they drop it off on one day and then I would do the whole installation that one day. And then I'd ask to do it another day so it stays overnight. But also in the event that like, like any pieces like just were like a really bad install or just need to be redone and have the time to do so. Still getting my feet wet with PPF so that until that until I feel really really proficient with it I just I just take my time because I don't like to stress. I don't want to I it's supposed to be fun, you know? That's just like window tinting, it's supposed to be fun for me. And if it's not fun then I don't want to do it. So PPF is fun. It's frustrating at first, but it is definitely fun. All right, so I clay barred it, wiped it off, squeegeed it. Now we're ready to peel the liner. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. So obviously this was cut with a plotter, can't tell. So I've already pre-cut it and pre-weeded it, so all we just need to do is just peel it. So what I'm using is a slip solution, mainly uh, baby shampoo and water. 
And then I have another solution here, which is isopropyl alcohol, isoprophic alcohol. I believe it's 90%, 90 proof. And it's a 20, 20% uh, diluted in 20% water. Water is 80% and 20% of it is the uh, alcohol. those of you that never done PPF before this is uh, the alcohol is just to help tack this portion down uh, because I'm gonna have to tack down certain portions and stretch it there's with the pre-cut patterns there is stretch involved in it so it needs to be um, it needs to be tacked down pretty good so that when I do stretch it um, it's not gonna slip on me I have friends that are like really, really good at PPF and they say to be efficient in PPF, it takes at least 40 or 50 kits. So uh, I'm on like kit like number five. <laughs> so I still have, uh, still have a little ways to go in regards to getting my feet wet. Well, Right there is a good thing about PPF is that if you mess up, you just pull it back up and redo it. All right, so let's see what we got here. Big air pocket right in there and try to move it out and up. I don't know if that's gonna work. Move it down.
Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to pull this side up because I have a couple bits right here. That's not good. Oh, almost missed my chair. <sighs> now I use pre-cut kits, um, but sometimes we're like when you're lining up here, sometimes the pre-cut kits I've noticed have not been like exactly lining up, so. Like, this is a little overhang. I'll probably have to trim that. I've been trimming stuff here and there. Um, yeah. If I was bulk cutting and I didn't have a plotter, I would have to, I would still have to trim by hand. So, just gotta make sure to cut deep enough. Where is my blades? Gotta cut, keep deep, cut deep enough so that you at least score the PPF, but not so deep that you're cutting the car and cutting into the car paint. What the hell? And the blades. Blades, where are you? Of that pouches. Oh. 
Cleanliness is important with tint and PPF. New towel. Where the hell are my blades? Found them. They fell out of my pouch when I was doing some stuff yesterday. If you guys are curious, normally you guys see silver blades. These are black blades. These are carbon blades. Um, so carbon blades are a lot sharper. Do not tint with these blades um, because you will score glass with them. Yeah. Don't do that. So I got a little not hanging over, not hanging over, and then hanging over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little trimmy trim. I'm trying to keep respectable gap here. The cool thing about PPF is that it's different than window tinting. So window tinting, if you try to push this finger out in window tinting, you'd be smoked. You can increase it for sure. There's a lot of pliability in PPF. Really, really good stuff. For those of you that are curious, and have watched my videos, you know the shop I work for exclusively carries Lumar. So if you guys are curious what kind of PPF this is, this is Lumar's Platinum series. Their new series, I think they just came out with it this year or last year. Um, it's got a 10 year warranty, supposedly has new hydrophobic properties as well. That's the one thing with PPF though, you need to be, you need to have patience. Patience is key, you can't rush it. Got a little bit of moisture in there, so that's why he keeps wanting to stand back up or peel up.
So I work with this just enough. So I'm just gonna leave it and let it dry. And that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, everything else, I just have to probably lay this down, trim this a little bit here, trimming a little bit, but for the most part, this fender is installed. Looks good. Could take a week or so for the excess moisture to get out. But yeah, besides that, I uh, this is pretty much done.